Zebra Striping Titanium, a unique finish that's gaining popularity and you wouldn't believe how easy it is to do. And that's the topic of today's TFS Fast Fab video, a quick fix full length or modification in less than five minutes. Let's get on it. All right, so we're gonna do uh, pie cuts on this one because this is typically where you're going to see uh, the zebra stripe finish on it. Now, zebra striping is sometimes known as tiger striping. Uh, it's also uh, sometimes known as reverse striping or reverse burning, um, even known as tie striping or tie short for titanium. So, but zebra striping is what it's typically known as. We're gonna get all these pie cuts lined up and we're gonna put a tack on each one of them. Now, only a tack, and that's very, very important. Don't weld it or anything else like that. Just simple little autogenous tacks will do the job. Now, it's extremely important that you uh, maintain a serious cleanliness with your titanium and you prep it accordingly. So, um, what I'm doing, of course, you get gloved up here, I've got a brand new surface prep pad on it, and we're going to brush this nice and clean, get all of the contaminants off of it, because once we burn it, it's going to stay, anything that's on there is going to stay on there, so fingerprints, dust, dirt, debris, whatever. So, now, burning is just pretty much oxidation, uh, we're going to use a propane torch to do it. Now, important on the burn coloring. Uh, it usually goes from, of course, the silver natural finish to gold, to purple, to blue, uh, which is a dark blue, to light blue, and then it goes into red and green and, you know, other colors that, you know, series oxidation absolutely just looks terrible. So the important thing about this one is just try to uh, stop burning before you actually hit the color that it's going to, and it, it turns pretty rapidly. But for this piece, I'm going to get uh, a lot of different colors on here so you can see the result. Now, of course, titanium is a reactive metal, so we must purge it. And uh, in order to do that, uh, we're going to set it up here with the uh, foil on the end of it, make sure it's nice and tightly pinched around it. Now I do have a video on back purging, you'll see the video card come up here, make sure you check that out. Now these parts right here that I'm propping on, these are called Merrill Slot Blocks. They're a new product exclusively available from the Fabrication Series, and you can definitely click the links uh, you know, either on this video card or at the end of it. It's the ultimate solution to propping, everybody should definitely have these, make sure you check that out. Now in order to actually get our tiger or zebra or tie stripe finish on here, all we're going to do is weld it. You notice that we're basically just working backwards uh, from the typical finish. Normally you would weld it and then burn it, but in this way we're going to reverse that by we burn it first and now we're just going to weld it. So the important thing on this one is to make sure you maintain your gas coverage as you weld. And uh, we're just going to you know, do short little dabs on it, make sure that everything stays within and that nice natural silver finish comes out on it the way it's supposed to be. Now if you escape your coverage, uh, I'll show you what that looks like. It's going to change color and then of course there is a way to get rid of it. I'll show you that one in just a minute here. But this uh, right here, this is about the normal speed that uh, we run on titanium. And in all actuality, I'm running just a little bit slower uh, than I normally would with titanium. But I'm just making sure that we get nice, clean, even, neat dabs on it and uh, make sure that it stays within that gas coverage. You definitely gotta have the gas coverage. If it escapes it, it's gonna change color. You know, it'll, it'll get blue and you know all the other normal colors that titanium does when it reacts with the atmosphere at certain temperatures. So this here is the final weld on it. All finished up, you can see the different colors on it. Of course, I'll show you here at the end of the video, but this spot right here is where I escape the gas coverage, that little blue spot. So we're just gonna mow right back over it. Now I'm gonna do like a, a stack weave on this one, and I'm gonna have the rod at the ready just in case. But all we're doing is heating it back up and letting it cool down within that gas coverage, and it's gone, just like that. So now after we pull all of the uh, caps off of here, you can check out what the actual finish looks like. We got full penetration, full shielding on the inside. The outside looks great, and you can see the different colors in each one of the finishes. So that's how it's done. Pretty simple. Well, if you got any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments box below, and I'll definitely get back to you. If you want to check out more episodes in less than five minutes, go ahead and check out this hashtag, TFSFastFab. Every single time one of those uploads, you'll find it as long as you know how to search. I want to thank you guys for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fabrication Series YouTube channel for more really awesome content, and I will see you guys on the next episode.